cheesecake and the filling made. Now I'm going to do my topping and at this time of year I love it when the first young stems of rhubarb start to poke their heads out and uh, so here I've been down the garden picking this this morning. Fantastic uh, young rhubarb which is perfect for this. Later on in the season when the rhubarb gets a bit bigger and tougher it's fine for crumbles and then towards the end of the season I just use it for chutney. But uh, right now this is what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm also going to need to cook the rhubarb in. I'm going to use Quancho and orange again, so we've got the flavour theme going through the dish. So I'm going to have the rest of that orange before I get rid of it. Okay, we've got this fabulous young rhubarb which I've washed already. Okay, and I just want to take the best little middle bits from this. Okay, and actually I'm going to, I'm going to cook them in a pan. Again, with the uh, sugar, orange juice, and Cointreau. Okay, and here we go. Let's see if I can get this. And these little stems are so young and tender, I'm going to aim to keep them whole. So I can just use them as a garnish to lay on top of the cheesecake. Obviously, if they're a bit bigger, you can just cut them down into chunks and just make a compote, which is what I'll do with the rest of the trimmings. I won't throw those away. Then, on the, on the gas, just gonna give it a little bit of heat with the juice of the other half of the orange. Okay, and some of this caster sugar. Just enough. So I'm going to make a little bit of sauce. And again, some contra. A decent slug of contra. Get that good flavour going. Okay. Now, I'm going to just get that going and evaporate some of the alcohol from the contra before I pop it in the oven. And these young stems are going to take just three, four, five minutes maybe until they're soft enough to eat whole. What you don't want is if they're a little bit tougher and you don't cook them enough that people are having to eat them and they're a little bit stringy or chewy. If that's the case, if they are a bit bigger, then just cut them down into chunks and make a compote. But I reckon I can do them whole because they're so young and fresh. <clears throat> okay, right. The the rhubarb's had a few minutes in the oven, so I'm going to just check that. Okay, and you can just see it just softened, but it's holding its shape, which is perfect, just what I want. So, now I'm ready to finish the dish. Okay, we've got our cheesecakes here. Now, in the restaurant, we use a, one of these gas burners to uh, blow torch around the outside and just to warm it slightly so it melts and falls out. But guessing you maybe don't have one of these at home, I'm going to just use the stove. Okay, minding my fingers, just to warm around like so. And then I'm going to do give it a little push upwards first and then it should loosen and just come out like that. If you don't want to use the stove you could use a warm cloth around the outside, some warm water maybe on the outside but obviously try not to get the base wet. Perfect. So that looks good. Um, you could always do this in advance if you've got a dinner party. So you have them already unmolded and then you can just put them on the plates to go. Now, my Cointreau and a little bit of sugar with the juice from the rhubarb has made a lovely sauce there. I'm just going to serve a few little pieces of rhubarb on top of each one. I guess it's just keeping them whole like this is just showing off those beautiful first young tender stalks of rhubarb. A little sauce around. A little piece of mint, which is also just growing in the garden now. Just coming along. So, so there we have it. Um, Contra and orange cheesecake with tender young rhubarb. 
Hope you've enjoyed this recipe and we'll give it a go at home. Uh, and I uh, hope you'd like to look out for next month in April. I'm going to do a recipe for sea trout with sorrel sauce. Enjoy. Delicious.